so I ran into a little problem with my Kafka quill and what has happened is the very fine hairs on the very tip of the brush have uh, frayed to the to you know off away from the tip and uh, which has caused a blunt end and I surmise now that this is due to user error and not a manufacturing issue and the reason why is because I realize that what I've been doing is when I charge my brush in a cup I'm jamming it all the way down into the bottom and hitting the bottom of the cup in order to maximize my paint, paint load and so what I realized when I'm doing that it's I'm actually damaging the very fine hairs of this brush that make this brush so awesome because these teeny tiny fine hairs at the end is what gives us a really super clean sharp edge uh, when you know when we begin a letter and so I'm gonna see if I can repair that um, and in the meantime as well also I'm going to from now on only pull paint from the bottom and pull up along the side charging it by by pushing you know leaning the cup to the side and and just pushing the 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 brush down to on the side of the cup and charging the brush that way and not jamming it down and for cleaning because I for cleaning I was also filling a cup like this uh, full of um, lacquer thinner or paint thinner and doing the same thing just jamming the brush down into the bottom of the cup which I realize with teeny tiny fine hairs like that on the end probably isn't a good idea so I'm gonna take one of these uh, plastic food containers that have a concaved bottom like this and that way I can I can instead of jamming it to the bottom I can pull the uh, uh, lacquer thinner or mineral, sp mineral spirits up and over this concaved um, you know I can I can go along the side and pull it up and just and, and when you smash it down then you can then you can clean it just on on its flat so always keep always clean and and charge with paint flat like this with the flat of the brush meanwhile I'm well in I also wanted to just demonstrate how this looks perspectively let's say this is this let's say this is a huge um, viewpoint of the tip of the brush you know these these are all the hairs here so basically what it what it looks like when you get to the tip where all these fine hairs are they're going like this like this like a little um, <laughs> Yeah, like a little top of a hair so now instead of that really sweet um, instead of that really sweet clean sharp edge now you've got a more of a blunt edge and this 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 is what really gives you those really sharp clean lines so let's see if I can repair this brush okay so I'm gonna do something that even sounds a little crazy to me but I'm gonna try to see if I can hot iron these flat permanently so I have a piece of parchment paper here that I folded in half and I'm gonna slide inside take a hot iron and just hit it and see if it'll permanently flatten those bristles those hairs and I know that um, one option is to put the brush on an e the edge of a glass is what we used to do with uh, quills, errant hairs on quills, and then just take some sandpaper and just lightly just hit the very edge and tip so it squares it off and, and takes off any um, errant br uh, hairs. But all of the hairs are doing that, number one. And number two, I don't want to actually remove those hairs because that would, that would completely alter this brush to become a different brush because those little teeny fine hairs are the whole purpose of this brush working so well so I've never done this before and I'm gonna just slide this in here and see what happens so I don't know if anybody's tried this before but I'll just touch down real light at first and just see what that did. It's a hot iron. It's all the way hot. It's oh, and I also cleaned the I also cleaned the uh, all the oil out of it. 
Um, uh, so it's it's been completely cleaned. It's a little wet still from some re residual oil and lacquer thinner, but for the most part, it's for the most part. Hey, that looked like it looked like it flattened it. I mean, I know you can't see the bristles. I mean, the hairs right now, but because it's too it's too. I mean, I can barely see it, and I'm holding the brush. So I hit it three times. Well. I'll tell you what, that actually flattened that, that, that actually flattened the hairs. All right, now push your luck, right? <laughs> Let's do it a little bit more and then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to test the brush. Uh-oh. See, I went too far. Now it just it turned the it turned the uh, oh well. Wait a minute. Looks like no. Yeah, I went too far. Now it, it it now it's actually curled the whole end of it. So I should have stopped. I should have stopped at those two strokes. Now it just curled the whole whole end. And now some brush. Now bristles are coming out. Yeah. Okay. So if I would have stopped at just hitting it a couple of times. That was, it was, it actually had been, was perfect. Now that's too bad. Now it's, now they're really, now the whole end is frayed. So if you do it, just hit it a couple times. Real quick, real light. See now I've melted, I've melted those bristles. Yeah, these bristles have melted, the hair's melted. Okay, lesson learned. It can be done. It, 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 takes, it, it can flatten them, but only do it a couple times. Real quick and just on the very tip. Don't do it, you know, just, just hit it a couple times like that, that, real quick, and it'll flatten it. You do it any more than that, and you'll burn it just like you did. I burn the hairs. So now I'm going to have to buy a new number four. But that's the first time I've ever done it, so live and learn. So I've noticed that my number two brush is actually doing the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and try to straighten these hairs out like I did with the number four. Only I'm going to do two things differently. Number one, I'm going to use a lower setting on the iron, the lowest setting. And number two, I am going to only do the tip and really quickly and very carefully and I'm not going to touch up in the body of the brush at all. I'm just going to hit the tip real quick because I actually don't want to buy any more new brushes. I want to be able to see if I can salvage this one so I have my piece of um, non-stick cooking parchment paper that I'm going to um, put inside, fold it in half put inside by the near the crease so I know where to apply the iron and I'm going to just quickly hit that tip real quick hit the tip and see if I can flatten those bristles out just hit it just hit it you know what that that flattened it Let's see if they're gonna. Let's see if they're gonna stay though, because they were literally going out like eyelashes away from the away from the center of the brush. And I think I'm gonna hit it one more time. And I'm, you're probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Quit while you're ahead. I just want to hit it one more time. I'm just gonna do real quick. Like that, just like that. That was real quick with a with a low iron, and oh, and, and this is a cleaned out brush. There's there's no oil or anything in it. I cleaned it out with lacquer thinner, just kind of damp from the lacquer thinner, but because I just cleaned it out. So that is looking really good. The hairs are actually flat now. 
and what I'm going to be doing from now on this point on when I do charge my brush with paint I am not going to jam the brush down in there I'm going to I'm going to bring the paint to the edge of the cup and carefully just drag it drag it up against the side of the cup so I'm not pushing down against those fine hairs and then that way and I just I just lettered with this brush today on a door um, so I'm gonna see if it's and it was blunt and created a little bit of a, a issue with uh, with the uh, tip of the with the edges of the the I mean the ends of the letters so I'm gonna see if this is gonna be yeah I think that's better Oh yeah, that's much better. That's much better. So now I'm just going to be ca real careful whenever I whenever I dip for paint. I'm not going to hit the bottom of the cup with these brushes. I'm just going to be real careful. Set down. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. And then when it's time to clean the brush, I'm going to take this uh this concaved food container and uh, wipe out the excess and then go ahead and just use the use the trough of this instead of going you know like if you had a can or something you just jam it down into the bottom of the can to, and then swirl it all around in there and try to get the paint out so I'm just going to just press it on the side, so I'm always, I'm always, I'm, I'm never jamming it into anything. Now, from this point on, I'm just going to use the side, and this is nice to have up here because you can kind of bring the heel up. Especially works for better for bigger brushes, but you can bring it up into this area up here, and it kind of helps drain out the, the uh, thinner or lacquer thinner, and then so on and so forth. And then I just empty this out and get a clean, and clean a, you know, get a cleaner. Uh, another round of clean uh, lacquer thinner so until until the brush is completely clean and then oil it that being said I got uh, I got some brushes today in the mail that and I got a uh, Steve Kafka bumper sticker Kafka brushes get your wings yeah sweet silver metallic paperwork oh yeah that I went ahead when I ordered the number four I went ahead and got some um, got some bigger numbers too so now I have an 8, I have an 8 and a 12, and I, uh, there's another bag. This probably has the 4 in it, because um, I actually got the 8 and 12 uh, before I ordered the, you know, before I ruined the 4. <laughs> and so I went ahead and got a, ordered a 4. Go. Get a bumper sticker with this too. Yep. Need one to go. Need one the other way so they so that they can be reverse, like one on one side of the truck and one on the other. All right, and then I got a 16. That's a big one. Oh, Merry Christmas. That. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty big. 
that's going to be fun to try out. And then here's the, the number four. Back in business. That's the way it should look right there. Nice and straight and clean at the end. I'm going to really take care of these from now on. I'm not going to be jamming them down into the into the uh, bottoms of the cups and cans. So that's my uh, that's my advice to you. Get the brushes and don't jam them down into cups and cans. Uh, use the sides and only clean the, from the edge. Thanks for watching. I hope this was a helpful video.